So, and what is your crime? Um, what? I am Warlord Ragnar, patron of this berserker settlement while Master Thorold is on pilgrimage. Anyone who commits a crime must answer to me. Emissaries from the other communities also have to speak to me first. So, are you an emissary? Why are you here? Speak. I am an Alp defector. My people tried to kill me, and I'm seeking refuge. Ah. You survived an Alp execution? Hmm. Even if that is true, then you marched straight into the lion's den. So you had better think very carefully about your next answer. Again, what exactly do you want here? I'm looking for work. You can prove yourself by helping the people of Vidan. There is more than enough work to go around. So if you want to be tolerated here, you must follow my rules. These rules are very simple. If you harm the Berserker community, you will pay. If you serve the community, you will receive fair compensation for it. I hope we understand one another. Because if not, you will have to answer to me. Is that clear? You're the boss. Yes, correct. The quicker you understand that, the better for you. Heed my advice, and you will find the Berserkers to be good hosts. Is there anything else? Master Thorold, what kind of man is he? Thorold is not here at the moment. The warlords are in charge of the day-to-day -day running, though all owe their allegiance to him, the Pilgrim. He has taken it upon himself to go into retreat, to seek the answers we need for Idan to survive. His knowledge of magic is superior to anyone's. If there is any person capable of solving the problems we face, it is the Pilgrim. Do you think the Berserkers can stop the Alps from conquering Edan? The Berserkers raised Edan from wasteland to forest. This is our home, and we will hold it. I heard you had taken heavy losses. War takes its toll. The clerics fought us, the outlaws have raided us. Now we must face the Alps. But the Berserkers' roots run deep into the ground here. And... We have something to fight for. With magic, with self-belief and hard steel, we have returned as many dead Albs to Zekor as they have left Berserkers dead and dying here. Ormag, Angram, and myself will see the Berserkers stand firm. Talk to Angram if you want to know more. Where can I find Angram? Look for him in the Warriors' Quarter. Near the Mana Shrine. Where is the Warrior Quarter? That would be near the Mana Shrine. If you wish to find something in Goliath, take your feet out of the door and find someone else to be your tour guide. Where can I buy armor like yours? Ha! <laughs> you can't simply buy a Warlord's armor. You don't even have the rank of a Cultivator, let alone that of a Warrior. And you want Warlord's armor? Why not? Slow down, friend. First proved to me that you would be a good cultivator. So, make yourself useful in the city, and we can talk about better armor for you. How is your war against the Alps going? Our war? This isn't a war of our choosing. They attacked us. Then they sent a party to construct a converter in the north of Edan. You'll find the metallic ruins of it there. And the soil around that monstrosity holds the bones of the Alps that came with it. Since then, they have raided, rather than try to hold ground in Edan. But who knows where and when they will strike next. Here, or in Tavar, or Ignadon. The war has hurt them, no doubt. Even their own kind has rebelled. There's a group of Alps separatists to the north. They continue their love of Elix machines, but they are fighting their own kind.
should come with me. See something more than Goliath. With all the wounded there are these days, we can hardly keep up. That's more of a reason. If we keep doing the same things, this war won't end. Nothing we can do will end this war. Are you in need of medical supplies? It'll take time to prepare them, I'm afraid. With all the fighting, we haven't any stocks left. Do you help everyone who asks? It is a healer's duty, especially in these times of war. And it is needed, bitterly. Which is what I have heard from everyone we picked up. Terrible. I wish I could offer aid to all those in need. But it seems not even our magic helps us keep up with supplies. Can you heal my wounds? Let me have a look. You don't seem to have any broken bones. Here, I think this will aid you. Thank you. We are here to heal. Besides, the more people who can patch themselves up, the less time we'll have to spend picking up the pieces. You must hear a lot about what's going on. I don't need to hear. I get to see the results. The magic the Alves are using is so destructive. Somehow they're managing to use pure Elex, and it makes me fear for our warriors. It's more powerful than Berserker magic? It's more destructive. With the damage it's causing, I can't believe it isn't tearing the Alves apart, too. It must hurt them. Hurt? Yes. But they're trained to reject emotions and feelings. Yes. They say Elex makes machines of men. But I have heard there are Alves who have escaped their addiction. I wish I could meet one. Knowing what they feel might help me assist others to overcome their addiction. What do you know about Elix Withdrawal? I met an Alb Separatist. He was brought in as a prisoner. His external wounds weren't so bad, but internally, emotionally, he was trying to cope with all those withdrawal symptoms, and at the same time, he was rediscovering his emotions. All that pain, all that confusion. What happened to him? Where is he? He died. It was all just too much. I wish I could have learned more from him. If he could leave, so could others. Maybe that could offer hope to us all. But what can be done that the warlords haven't done already? Ah, incomer. It would be good to talk later and hear your news. We can take a risk. Isn't it more important that we win this war rather than how we win it? Come with me. I need someone to watch my back when I go look for some supplies. And I know I can trust you. Welcome to the Mana Shrine. Have you been sent here with a task? Or are you here in search of a healer? Speak now. Or have you taken a vow of silence? Your healers here? Ah, well. You will find healers among us. But you will learn we also use the name for those who heal Magalan. Perhaps not Amrik's best choice of name, but we're in the habit of using it now. We cure Magdalene from the curse of Elix, and from that curse, we bring the blessing of mana. It sounds like you're doing good work. Saving our world, the only work that matters. This is the mana shrine, where Elix is turned from poison to nectar. One day, all Elix will come here and Magalan will be free from its influence. Until then, we must contend with the danger here. The power released from Elix can make the shrine a hazardous place. Please, be careful here. The power of Elix. Tell me, who are you? You've not said what you're doing here. Something brought you here, didn't it? You were drawn to this place.
I was an alb, but I'm free from Elix now. Then you are an alb no more. It is Elix that turns a man into an alb. Without that poison, you are free to make your own choices. You have told me who you were. Now you, now we, will find out who you are. Please, understand. Whatever feelings are new to you, every person faces that same struggle. It is the struggle Magellan suffers from, too. She is dosed with Elix. She has it in her veins, as you did. But Magellan does not suffer from temptation. You must feel the lure of Elix to your bones. The power it offers. Resist it. One sign of you giving in to the temptation of Elix, and I will be forced to report you. If this world gives in to Elix, it will consume us all. So, how do you transform Elix? Transmute. We transmute Elix. We place the Elix in the Mana Shrine. There is something in this mountain, the way the rock was changed by the comet. As the Elix passes through, it is changed, purified into mana. If you bring anything that has been altered by Elix close to the shrine, you can feel it. What do you do with the mana? Our mana is everything. It is life itself. It is mana that allows us to do magic. No other faction of the free people can do that. The mana potions we make give us that ability. It makes our warriors stronger, more powerful than any of the Alms machines. But it doesn't just make us strong, it also makes the world blossom. Look around. All of this is the work of our world hearts. World hearts? World hearts are the center of everything we do. The heart of the berserkers. They are plants we enrich with mana. They bring the soil back to life. You're comfortable with an alb living in Goliath? An alb is a man who has become a slave to Elix. It seems to me that you have freed yourself. That makes you a rare individual. Still, you are wise to be wary. There are those here who would kill you if they learn your background. But though it is not one of our written laws, it is central to our beliefs and to me that we should give all those who want it a second chance. If you are prepared to leave your past behind, you should be given a chance. Are you willing to do this? I want to leave my past behind. That is good. Now, Angrim or Ragnar will happily chew your ear about the law, but everyone else will look to your actions. Will you trade me some mana for Elix? Gladly. What do you do here? other than give free advice. As I have already explained, I oversee the Mana Shrine here. As Amrik said, our hope for Magellan is that all Elix shall become Mana, that from Mana Magellan will be reborn. From Wasteland shall spring forest, for we are the healers of the world. So, the workers bring the Elix to us and we transmute it at the Mana Shrine. Well, that is supposed to be what happens, but people don't seem able to stick to their tasks. How does Mana help you cast magic? That we have yet to understand, though we do study it. Even now, Thorold the Pilgrim has withdrawn from Elix to study its mysteries in the hope we can grow stronger. Those who cast magic will tell you that while the Alms lose their emotions closing off their minds, mana opens the mind, connects you and the world.
Isn't mana addictive like Elix? It is the power of mana that is addictive, not the substance itself. You can see that in Goliath. We don't need mana like the Albs have to have their Elix. And we use a lot less. Most of the Elix we find is given to our seedlings. Mana puts our bodies and minds in harmony with the magic we use. For us, it is natural. The energy the Albs use in magic is torn from the world. It damages them, and it damages the world. You say people aren't doing their tasks. Yes, the biggest problem we have is temptation. Elix corrupts people as it does the planet. Last week, five large pieces of Elix disappeared from the shrine before it could be transmuted. At the same time as Kral, one of our guards, So Kral stole the Elix? I think Kral is the thief, but thinking is uncertainty. The searches for him and the Elix have come up empty, and I have no idea why he would take the Elix. Maybe. Where would I need to start looking for Kral? Well, that is the question, isn't it? The guards tried Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Kral spent a lot of time up there, sitting out on the main balcony. He's a thinker. While the guards might have been there already, they aren't the best of investigators. Maybe you will have more fortune if you look there. The law forbids such technology. So, you decided to stick around. Well, I've been given a job by a warlord Ragnar that I think might suit you. If you want to stay around for longer. Tell me about the job. Well, the task I have on offer should profit you, and though it's not the best way to sell our community to you, it should demonstrate that we're open about things here. You see, there was a murder committed just outside Goliath a few months ago. A rather dedicated berserker named Ascor was killed. There's been an investigation, but no definitive answers as to why he was killed. So, Ragnar wants me to follow up and find the murderer. And what can I do? Well, I'm having trouble getting answers from people. Maybe an outsider will have more success getting them to open up. 
Would you talk to the suspects and see what they have to say? Tell me about the victim. His name was Ascor. He was a warrior, newly promoted from Cultivator. Ragnar had high hopes for him, but Ascor wasn't popular. He went missing around Mana's Eve three months ago. No one knew where he'd gone, and it wasn't like he had many shards to up and disappear with. Then one of Ragnar's patrols found Ascor's body rotten up in the forest. It looks like he was stabbed several times with a sword. Whoever did it was strong enough to overcome him, but clumsy. They didn't find anything on Ascor to point to who might be the murderer. What does Ragnar think a berserker murdered Ascor? Ascor was killed with a sword, and there aren't too many people who use swords outside of Edam. But if Ragnar's right, then there must be someone who was outside the walls at the time of the crime. So, Ragnar drew up a list of five suspects. No idea why these five exactly, but Ragnar will have his reasons. I'll find the murderer. Ragnar wants answers. He seems determined to find out what happened. Myself, I don't know if we'll ever know what happened. But if we can eliminate these five suspects, he might let this go. And who knows? Maybe one of them did do it, and you'll get the proof. And you think I can find the killer? You're a stranger here. That means you might see things I won't. What kind of logic is that? To be honest, I think this is a dead-end job. But Ragnar, against all the evidence, seems to think it was a berserker that killed Ascor, and he wants answers. Me, I think it's a wild goose chase. None of Ragnar's questioning has thrown up any proof a berserker was involved in this, so chances are it was an Alb, an outlaw, or a reaver. But if a warlord has an itch to scratch, then that means we have to go and scratch it. So, let's cross all these suspects off the list and give them some closure. Is this why you brought me to Goliath? To do your dirty work? I brought you to Goliath to give you a chance. And this is a way to earn it by getting a warlord on your side. Will the suspects talk to me? Tell them you're investigating on Ragnar's orders. They'll answer your questions. Let me know if you need help. Remember, my sword belongs to you. Who are the suspects? A group of people who were out there in the forest at the time of the murder. First on the list is Baron. He's a guard. Well, he's supposed to be a guard. As far as I know, he doesn't have an alibi. But I think the only real reason he's on the list is because he knew Ascor when he was younger. Then there's Thorgal. He's in charge of a world heart in Abessa. I have no idea why Ragnar would put him on the list. Maybe just to be complete. Third is Garen, a hunter. He was reliable, but he seems to have lost heart in himself. There's something troubling him. Last are Eirdor and Rock. Rock, I can't get a handle on. There's something he's not happy about. Eirdor is still wet behind the ears. Bit of a whiner, but seems to care about his job. They were all outside Goliath at the time of the murder. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh, I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast.